It's one of those days here at the NovaCare Complex where everybody is smiling. Hi, Eagles everywhere. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, and the man to my right is the newest Philadelphia Eagle leading with all the smiles, linebacker Hassan Redick. First day officially as an Eagle. Let me see that smile. There we go. Uh, how, how, how's the day been? How's it feel to be a Philadelphia Eagle? It's, it's been great, man. Wonderful. Yeah. You know, getting in the building, getting to meet everybody. Everybody's been wonderful, kind, excited, man. Excited, really excited for this opportunity. Camden, New Jersey native. Uh, didn't play much high school football, and I want to get into that. Like, the way I look at you, Hassan, and from what I've known about you, you're kind of a, hey, if you have a dream, mm -hmm. make sure you do everything you can to have that dream come true kind of guy. Right. right? Is that how you kind right. of see your journey in the NFL? Yes, indeed. Um, you know, as you were saying, I didn't play many games in high school. Walked on at Temple University. Uh, had to earn my rights to, you know, get on the field there. And... You know, 2017 draft, man, here, here in Philadelphia, you know, was able to be a first round pick. So, uh, like you said, man, I worked hard and I chased my dream. Why do you think it worked for you when it doesn't work for other guys? You know, I, I just believed in myself. I always bet on myself. I put the work in, man. I prayed on it and everything just came. It came to life for me. All right, in high school, Haddon Heights High School, mm -hmm. running back. <laughs> and safety. Right. All right. Now you're growing up. You're dreaming of being a Philadelphia Eagle, right? You're a fan girl. <laughs> did you feel like you were going to make that? You were out of position, or like, did you feel that there was some sort of spot that you were eventually going to be in as the runner or as the hitter? I, you know, I had dreams of being a running back at the time, um, but you know, it wasn't for me. You know, I mean, or that wasn't in the plans. Uh, when I walked on the temple, I walked on as a safety. And then, um, you know, eventually worked all, all the way at every level and became a defensive end. And that's where I showed the most promise and where I had the most success at, uh, in college. When did it click for you at Temple and why did it click for you at Temple? I would say maybe my, like my uh, red shirt sophomore year, guy named Elijah Robinson, who's also from Camden. Uh, he came in as the D-line coach and, uh, man, we spent countless hours working on pass rush countless hours on how to be a DN and, you know, how to use your hands, how to flip your hips. And um, thanks to him, you know, I was able to be a great pass rusher. And in before your senior year, redshirt senior year, you got the number change. Mm -hmm. Single digit number at Temple is a very high honor. It goes to the toughest player on the team. Mm -hmm. I mean, did you feel like that was kind of when it all really blossomed and the best of Hassan Reddick started to show? Yeah, man. You know, I just, you know, every year I, I got better. I was always a hard worker. That was never a question, never a thing. I was always a hard worker. But as I continue to play defensive end, I continue to get better each year. Um, and, you know, at the college level, you know, uh, I hit my prime and, and, and went crazy my senior year. It's really interesting because your professional career after being a first round draft pick kind of kind of mirrored your college career. So did that kind of help you stay patient and, hey, I'm going to finally find my niche? Exactly right. Um, you know, I looked at it as this was something that I've been through before. This is nothing new to me. If I overcame it once, why can't I do it twice? Of course, it was some ups and downs, but uh, you know, I did my best not to ever doubt myself. I continued to work hard, and eventually things worked out for me. And son, what are the keys to being, in your case, a great pass rusher at this level? You know, got to have good hands, good hips, good feet. You know, you got to be an athlete at the end of the day. I think that's what it comes down to the most. Also, patience, man. A lot of guys think that it's all about getting sacks and sometimes you can go games without having sacks and then sometimes you have a game where you got five sacks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just about being patient, continue to be consistent and going out there and giving your effort every time. Everything I've read about you, every time I've seen you play, it's always, hey, you've got this motor, you're relentless. You're... Is that born in you? Mm -hmm. Something you developed over the course of time? I would say a little bit of both, man. Uh, you know, throughout high school, I worked out with my father a lot. And he instilled a lot of core values and uh, morals in me as far as, you know, being a man, keep pushing, keep going, not quitting, those type of things. And, um, you know, I, I, it stuck with me uh, even when I got to college. You know, I remember those things, those, those, those long hours that we had put in. And then not only that, man, I always had my mom in my corner as well. So just having them two and the things that they instilled in me growing up. I was able to carry that with me throughout life. What time, what age were you able to overtake Pops and just they said, Dad, sorry, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too good for you now. <laughs> uh, I would say uh, Dad was a hell of an athlete. So I want to say when I got to about, when I got about 16, that's when it, like, I, you know, I was, 
able to be like faster. I was faster than him now, you know, started seeming like he was slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Uh, and so what, when you when the news breaks that you are coming back home, what is it like for you? Like, does your phone literally like just blow up? I mean, how, what is every single person you've ever met in your life texting you and and trying to say hello? Yeah, man, it, it was it was crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm still, just to put it in perspective, I'm still replying to people, you know, three days later since the news dropped on Monday, you know, that I had agreed to terms with uh, Eagles, man, I'm still replying to people. So if somebody thinks that I'm ignoring them, it's not that, I, I'm just, listen, I'm a, between social media and my phone, I'm just trying to get to everybody as I can. That's awesome. Okay, for those Eagles fans who are not familiar with your game, mm -hmm. What are you bringing to the table for these fans in 2022 and beyond? Um, re relentless attitude, uh, hard work, you know. Uh, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to give it my all. And I feel like I'm somebody that the fans can believe in. And I, and I can't wait to the first game of the season so I can show them. Yeah, you are a Philadelphia Eagle now. Um, growing up, big in your life, the Philadelphia Eagles? Yes, yes. So you, uh, Dad was a big Eagles fan. You know, growing up, I was a running back, as you, you stated earlier. Um, I was a big Deuce fan, man. Big fan of Deuce Daly at the time. You know, but then Deuce did go to uh, uh, the Steelers, and I had transition. But to be back home and to finally be able to call myself a Philadelphia Eagle, amazing. Yeah. It's truly amazing. See, you lived through all the tough, the good times, but mm -hmm. heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And then you're in the NFL when we win the Super Bowl, man. Yeah. Now it's time to for, help, help us win another one right, here. Right, right, right. What happens now, Hassan, now that you are in, like, do you move back into your hometown? Like, what, what, what's next? What do you want to train on and get ready for in 2022? You know, right now I am in a, currently in the process of, uh, you know, trying to find a home and move back here. Um, but for me, man, just, you know, now I get the be around family a little bit more, get to enjoy them. And I, I get to be around fans uh, and people that love me, you know, and, and, and that's a beautiful thing in itself. Next thing for me is the, you know, I've already been working out for the all season, but to continue to do that uh, and get ready for the season. Yeah, it's amazing. Great, Dr dreams do come true <laughs> if you work hard for them. Hassan Reddick, thank you so much. Congratulations and welcome to the Philadelphia Eagles. We can't wait to see you this season and for many more to come. Hassan Reddick, one-on-one, -on -one. Eagles everywhere, thanks for joining us.